Hello guys, I'm Architect Oliver and welcome to my channel. Today I prepared the continuation of the series of questions for building construction. Now I have the episode 3 for you and I hope that uh, this uh, can help sa pagre-review nyo sa Architect Licensure Examination. Okay, so here I prepared the definition of terms and uh, some images para maging familiar tayo dun sa uh, building construction. So let's start. Number 13, identify this method of construction. A. Tilt up construction. B. Slip form method. C. Cast in place. D. Lift slab building system. Answer. D. Lift slab building system. Number 14. Door hand conventions are used in specifying door hardwares such as lock set and closer. The term right and left assume view from the exterior of the building or room to which the doorways leads. What do you call the type of door which open outwards and the hinge is on the right? A. Left hand B. Right hand reversed C. Right hand D. Left hand reverse Answer B. Right hand reverse 15. In order to cut into tight crevices, what sewing tool is recommended to be used in cutting curves and holes in floors and roofs for pipes which has a small knife-shaped blade that moves up and down? A. Saber saw B. Table saw C. Radial arm saw D. Portable circular saw Answer A. Saber saw 16. A curtain wall system consisting of pre-assembled frame walls unit which may be pre-grazed and glazed after installation. Again, a curtain wall system consisting of pre-assembled frame walls unit which may be pre-grazed or glazed after installation. A. Panel system B. Unit and mullion system C. Stick system D. Unit system Answer D. Unit system 17. Please see the image. The single unit windows shown in image B. Again, the single unit windows shown in image B is called A. Tilt and turn window B. Transformable window C. Casement hopper window D. Double swing window Answer A. Tilt and turn window 18. Identify the image A. Button doors B. Dutch door C. Jeep door D. Combination doors Answer C. Jeep door 19. Commonly known as worker platform. Again, commonly known as worker's platform. A. Scaffold B. Formworks 
C. Boards D. Shorting Answer A. Scaffold Number 20 The mechanical removal of earth material Again, the mechanical removal of earth material A. Shoring B. Excavation C. Digging D. Burrow Answer B. Excavation 21. This is used to prevent concrete from adhering to the wood and preserve the form against damage by alternate wetting and drying on forms against surface which are to be plastered. Again, this is used to prevent concrete from adhering to the wood and preserve the form against damage by alternate wetting and drying on forms against surfaces which are to be plastered. A. Sahara B. Waterproofing C. Crude oil D. Plastic cover Answer C. Crude oil 22. Identify the image A. Hacksaw B. Crosscut saw C. Back saw D. Rip saw Answer A. Hacksaw 23. Identify the image this is a circular saw mounted over a small table used to cut various angles in wood. Again, this is a circular saw mounted over a small table used to cut various angles in wood. A. Power meter saw B. Saber saw C. Table saw D. Portable circular saw. Answer A. Power meter saw. 24. This is used for general digging, which is usually mounted on either a crawler or truck frame. Again, this is used for general digging, which is usually mounted on either a crawler or truck frame. A. Scraper B. Trencher C. Backhoe D. Front End Loader Answer B. Rather C. Backhoe 25. This is the natural material on which the construction rests. Again, this is the natural material on which the construction rests. A. Footing courses B. Grade beam C. Foundation bed D. Foundation Answer C. Foundation bed 26. This is a process of transferring a portion of the load on the wall to temporary footings and done when the excavation does not go much below the adjoining footings and when the material is fairly solid. Again, this is a process of transferring a portion of the load of the wall to temporary footings and done when the excavation does not go much below the adjoining footings and when the material is fairly solid. A. Underpining B. Shoring 
C. Needling. D. Lagging. Answer. B. Shorting. 27. This secured to rack or soil anchors are resorted to when cross bracing or rakers would interfere with the excavation procedure. Again, this secured to rack or soil anchor are resorted to when cross bracing or rakers would interfere with the excavation procedure. A. Whales. B. Sheet piles. C. Lagging. D. Tie box. Answer. D. Tie box. 28. This is a type of gravity retaining wall formed by stacking modular interlocking precast concrete units and filling the voids with crushed stone or gravel. Again, this is a type of gravity retaining wall formed by stacking modular interlocking precast concrete units and filling the voids with crushed stone or gravel. A. Grieving B. Riprap C. Bin wall D. Gabions Answer C. Bin walls 29. This resists overturning and sliding by the sheer weight and volume of its mass. Again, this resists overturning and sliding by the sheer weight and volume of its mass. A. L-type cantilever retaining wall. B. Counterfort retaining wall. C. T-type cantilevered retaining wall and D. Gravity retaining wall Answer D. Gravity retaining wall 30. A system of framing for a building of wood construction several stories high in which the studs are only one story high. The floor joists for each story rest on the top plates of the story below or on the sole plate of the first story. Again, a system of framing for a building of wood construction several story high, in which the studs are on only one story high. The floor joists for each story rest on the top plates of the story below or on the sole plate of the first story. A. Combination frame. B. Balloon frame. C. Platform frame. D. Heavy wood framing of beam and girder framing. Answer. C. Platform Frame X. 31. Identify the image. A. Dovetail Halving B. Secret Dovetail C. Laugh Dovetail D. Common Dovetail Answer C. Lap Lap Dovetail 32. Identify the image A. Scab or fish splice B. Half splice C. Square splice D. Scarf splice. 
Answer? A. Scab or fish splice. 33. This is a medium strength mortar recommended for general use in exposed mason masonry above grade where high compressive and lateral strength are not required. Compressive strength is 750 PSI. Again, this is a medium strength mortar recommended for general use in exposed masonry above grade where high compressive and lateral strength are not required. Compressive strength is 750 PSI. A. Type M B. Type S C. Type N D. Type O Answer C. Type N 34. These are constructed to prevent random shrinkage cracking and to allow the concrete crack in straight line or desired location. Again, these are constructed to prevent random shrinkage cracking and to allow the concrete crack in straight line or desired location. A. Control joint B. Construction joint C. Isolation joint D. Expansion joint Answer A. Control joint 35. Please see the image. Identify number 8. A. Header B. Cripple stud C. Sole plate D. Lintel Answer A. Header 36 Please see the same image. Identify number 3. A. Common stud B. Cripple stud C. Sole plate D. Lintel Answer B. Cripple stud 37. Identify number 7 on the same image. A. Common stud B. Cripple stud C. King stud B. Trimmer Answer A. Common stud 38. Please see the image and identify it. A. Clapboard Bevel siding, lap siding. B. Dolly, Varden siding. C. Sheep lap siding. D. Rustic siding. Answer. C. Sheep lap siding. 39. A roof which has two pitches on each side in Great Britain called a mansard roof. Again, a roof which has two pitches on each side in Great Britain 
This called a mansard roof. A. Pavilion roof. B. Pyramidal roof. C. Gambrel roof. D. Sotut roof. Answer? C. Gambrel roof. 45. What is the common gauge for GI roofing? Again, what is the common gauge for GI roofing? A. Gauge 24. B. Gauge 26. C. Gauge 25. D. Gauge 28. Answer B. Gauge 26. 46. A tall and more or less ornamental post at the head or foot of a stair supporting the handrail. Again, a tall and more or less ornamental post at the head or foot of a stair supporting the handrail. A. Balustrade B. Baluster C. Newell Post D. Rail Answer C. Newell Post Yeah, okay guys, uh, thank you very much for watching this uh, video from uh, beginning until the end. Uh, I hope uh, you learned something or you get uh, some ideas from, the, from this video about building construction. Uh, I will prepare another one for uh, building construction. And uh, again, I hope na makapasa kayo sa board exam nyo. And uh, thank you guys for watching this video. Bye!